this video will show you how to do chi-square goodness of fit test in SPSS using three different ways. Chi-square goodness of fit test in SPSS. The test is performed when there is one categorical variable or nominal variable or ordinal variable. For nominal variable, the variables can have two levels in it, such as male, female, yes, no, life, dead, or nominal, such as profession, doctor, dentist, pharmacist, and scientist. Chi-square test will examine whether there is a difference between the observed counts or frequencies compared to expected frequencies or counts within one categorical variable. Here in this SPSS data view, I had inserted 200 cases for a categorical variable, nominal variable, as shown here for professions. There are four different levels in this categorical variable or nominal variables. Number one is doctor, two is it secretary, three is pharmacist, and four is nurses. First of all, let's look at the proportion or the percentage or the count of each level within this categorical variable. The way to do that is to draw a par chart. Click on graphs, click on chart builder, click on OK, in this window, select the par chart, drag it to this area here, select the variable, drag it to the AX axis. Click on OK. As shown here, a par chart is produced for the four professions within one institution or a hospital. And it shows here that the count or the number of cases for each levels within this categorical or nominal variables for nurses, pharmacists, and secretary and doctors. To test the hypothesis whether there is a difference between the observed count, which is in this case given here, compared to the expected count, then the chi-square uh, uh, goodness of fit test for one variable will be performed. To perform the chi-square, click on Analyze, scroll down to Non-Parametric Test, scroll down to the chi-square and a window will appear here in this window there is a box for the variable which is proficient move that into the test variable list for the exact we're not going to perform any changes here at this stage or in this video for options click on and tick on descriptive click on continue and for these two options here, expected value and expected range, I will not change anything, but I will come back to this and do some changes. If I click on OK, three tables are generated. The first one is descriptive statistics, showing that there are 200 cases. The second table shows that counts or the frequencies for each level within this categorical variable for doctor, secretary, pharmacist, and nurses. 
the observed as shown here the lowest is for doctor and the highest for nurses the software will calculate the expected value for each level and since it there are four levels then the software has assigned 50 cases or 50 frequencies for each level the residual is only the uh, observed value minus the expected value the final table is the one that is important that shows the chi-square test value and the degree of freedom which is n minus one in this case we have four levels then four minus one equal three and a p-value of less than 0.05 this test shows that there is a significant differences between the observed frequencies compared to the expected frequencies as shown here so this is the way to do chi-square statistical test analysis goodness of fit test for one categorical data in SPSS going back again to the chi-square test window we could also generate a hypothesis that states there is no equal proportion or number or percentage of levels so we have here or between levels so we have here four levels so we could select that for the first profession which is the doctor there is only uh, let's say 10 percent expected frequencies for the second one is 20 percent i'm going to change that into let's say decimal values remove that into decimal let's say 0.1 and then for the secretary 0.2 and then for the uh, pharmacist 0.3 so 30 percent and finally for the nurses 0.4 which is 40 percent i could also add instead of the uh, percent or decimal here or proportion i could add the frequencies or count in the case here for the doctor this could be changed into 0.1 of uh, 200 is 20 the second one will be 40 the third one will be 60 and the fourth one will be 80 click on ok uh, a new analysis is generated and the most important part is the frequencies for the uh, new entered um, expected value as it's shown here the expected value 20 40 60 and 80 for the four levels uh, however the observed value is retained the same and the test shows that again the chi-square is 21.3 and the p-value is less than 0.05 even with setting this hypothesis that there is unequal proportion in the expected uh, uh, frequencies or values there is still significant differences so this is one of the options can be uh, 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 selected in SPSS to test different hypotheses if we go back again into the window for chi-square test and reset things and drag the profession to the test va variable list and keep the expected values equal and in the expected range I'm going to let's say select analysis for only three levels within this category since we doctor is labeled as one and secretary two and so on 
I'm going to select number one to number three and omit the nurses from this calculation with, uh, using chi square. If I click on OK, tables are generated here. The frequencies shows only three levels. The nurses is missing and there are 130 cases in total and the expected value is equal and if we look here the chi-square is 4.6 and the p-value is not significant so this test shows that there is no significant differences between the observed values or frequencies compared to the expected values so there is no differences between uh, or among the levels within this uh, categorical variable chi-square goodness of fit test in SPSS method 2 click on analyze scroll down to non-parametric test click on one sample and in this new window for one sample non-parametric test select customize analysis then click on fields reset this then move the profession to the test fields click on setting and in the setting section click on customize test and tick on the box for compare observed probability to hypothesized chi-square test and for this icon for options click on it and in the new window here have options to choose from whether to set the hypothesis that all categories have equal probabilities or to customize the expected probabilities for now we just leave that for uh, as uh, all categories have equal probability click on ok click on run few tables and graphs are generated the first tables shows the hypothesis test the null hypothesis states that categories of proficiency occur with equal probabilities. Since we have 200 cases, there should be 50 cases in each level or categories. And the test is one sample chi-square test. And the p-value is less than 0.002. The second table shows the test statistic value which is 14.7 and the degree of freedom which equal to or equals to um, n minus 1 with n is four levels minus 1 equals to 3 and the p value which is less than 0.05 so this test shows that there is a difference between the observed uh, frequencies and the expected frequencies looking at the part chart here it shows that the expected frequencies all have equal proportions or equal probabilities as the frequencies for each is 50 and the other part chart shows the count for each uh, categories within this variable going back again to the window for the test and clicking on options icon and select the customize expected probability let's set that the probability for the first level is 10 percent the second is 20 the third is 30 and the fourth is 40. click on the space here enter one and then 10 for 10 percent for the second level 20 percent and for the third 30 percent and for the fourth 40 percent click on ok then click on run 
what will happen here is that the um, test will compare the observed frequencies with the expected frequencies that are set at specific probability or certain proportions as we have entered or inserted shown here from the hypothesis test the categories of profession occurs with specific probabilities 10 percent to 40 percent and the significant level is less than 0.05 so the p-value here is less, by, less than 0.05 and there is a significant differences between the observed and expected frequencies and the test statistics here is given as a value of 221.3 so this uh, part chart shows that the expected frequencies occurs at specified proportions 10 percent 20 30 and 40 percent 10 percent is equal to um, 20 as shown here and 20 percent is equal to 40 and 30 percent is equal to 60 and 40 percent is equal to 80. chi-square goodness of fit test in SPSS using method 3 look at the uh, number of cases or frequencies for each level and to do that first of all we need to split that data so click on data click on split file click on compare groups select and drag professions into the empty box click on ok now click on analyze click on descriptive frequencies and take display frequency click on statistics click on sum to count the number of cases for each level click on continue drag the profession to the variables click on ok a table is generated showing the frequencies for each level within this categorical variable doctors 34 and nurses 70 to perform the chi-square I will show you how to do it in a different method I'm going to calculate the frequencies for each level or categories I will generate a new window in uh, SPSS and generate two new variables call the first one jobs the second one frequency and change the measures for the jobs as it will be nominal and for the frequencies it will be scale align them center and decrease the decimal to zero and for the jobs we'll insert the four categories one for doctor click add two for secretary click on add three four pharmacist add and fourth for nurses and click on add click on ok click on data view adjust the width here a little bit increase the width and for job insert one two three four so we have doctor secretary pharmacist and nurses or nurse um going back again to the data here we had um found out that there are 34 cases in the doctors uh, or 
category and 54 for secretary, 42 for pharmacist and 74 nurses. Insert the frequencies for each categories. 34, 54, 42 and 70. To perform the chi-square goodness of fit test, first of all, we need to weight the cases for this variable, which is the frequency. Click on data, click on weight cases, select frequencies, select weight cases by the frequency. So the software will weight this variable and will perform the uh, chi square to do the test click on analyze scroll down to non-parametric test then to legacy dialogues and then click on chi square and in the chi square window select jobs into the test variable list click on exact no changes in options select descriptive click on continue here we have two other options whether we are going to analyze the data based on a hypothesis that all the expected uh, frequencies are equal or not uh, and here the other one is whether to include all the levels within a variable or exclude one or more uh, levels of the variable if we click on ok Three tables are generated. The first one shows that there are 200 cases. The second one shows the observed and the expected values of frequencies for each level. The frequencies for the doctor is 34 and then for the expected frequency is it is all set at 50 equal proportion for all the four categories or four levels for the residual is equal to observed value minus expected value looking at the third stat table it shows that the chi-square value is 14.7 and the degree of freedom which is 4 minus 1 equal to 3 and the p-value is less than 0.05 so here the test shows that there is a significant difference between the observed frequencies compared to the expected frequencies we could also go back again to the test and set the value here um, let's say that we need the uh, set the hypothesis to p of unequal proportion and since we have four levels from one to four i'm going to set the first uh, value of uh, let's say first proportion uh, for the first level to uh, put it as either in proportion or in uh, count for the first level set that for point one add for the second one point two add for the third one point three add for the fourth one is point four so here we are uh, stating that uh, the expected value for the first level will be 10 percent second will be 20 third will be 30 and fourth will be 40 percent and that in number will be 0.1% of um, 200 will be equal to 20 and 0.2 is equal to 40 the third one is 60 and the fourth one is 80 click on ok again a uh, test will recalculate the value for the chi square and as shown here uh, for table one there is still 200 cases for table 2 the expected value is set at 20 40 60 and 80 and looking at the chi square the value is 221.3 and the degree of freedom is 3 and the p value is less than 0.05 go again to the chi square test let's set this at 
uh, default, all categories are equal. And then let's say that we want to analyze only uh, three levels within these four levels from one to three, excluding the nurses from this analysis as shown here in the table. The first one is shows 200 cases. The second one shows only doctor, secretary, pharmacist, and the nurses are excluded. And here we have 130 observed compared to expected. And the expected value or frequency is of equal proportion. And a, a chi-square value is generated, 4.6, and a p-value is 0.096. So this test shows that there is no significant differences between observed and expected frequencies or values. So this is the way to perform chi-square goodness of fit test in SPSS using a third method.